we are in the lecture number 52 now this is a second model that is pn junction and it is a chapter energy level shifting now this shifting of energy level this uh, chapter is uh, extremely important for every kind of analysis it's not important for um exam point of view it's important for gate exam uh, but it's uh, mostly uh, important for the analysis of fermi energy level shifting indirectly it is an important for your exams okay now consider there is a there is whether it is a n type or p type it doesn't matter just consider a, a semiconductor is here okay it's a semiconductor it doesn't matter which type semiconductor it is just consider here that this is a semiconductor and as we know the um, microscopic view of this semiconductor will be like this some, somehow it will be like this sir this these are the nucleus and these are the nucleus and these this is the potential well this is the potential well this is the potential well these are the each and every atoms so for each and every atom these are the potential well these are the potential well so sir aapne complete kyun nahi kiya sir ye sare cheez to hum logo ne linear combination of atomic orbital mein padha tha so th these are will be like this okay yahan pe bhi aise hoga so yahan pe bhi aise hoga so in order to make these uh, different different energy level to make it as a common energy level so we do actually present it in this way all of this diagram all of the concept of this potential well i have uh, described you in a linear combination of atomic orbital so to describe its uh, common potential well it will be somehow like this it will be somehow like this okay but be somehow like this. let's take only one energy level okay now if you apply biasing if you apply biasing always remember every energy level every energy level shifted towards shifted towards it doesn't matter which semiconductor it is whether it is a n type semiconductor or a p type semiconductor but always remember every energy level do shift towards the positive polarity always 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 it shifted towards positive polarity so how this um, will going to happen look here so the all the energy levels will get shifted towards positive polarity like this it doesn't matter which type semiconductor it is but once you apply the biasing the positive polarity do remember in this way it is very important for your gate exam there is a uh, there was one question also asked there is two to three questions were asked in gate exams also i'll i'll describe those um, those questions to you but now you need to remember only that the shifting of energy level always happen towards positive polarity just remember this much okay now let's apply this um, theorem or theory to our n type and p type case look here carefully here we have a n type semiconductor which is unbiased case here we have a p type semiconductor which is unbiased case here we have applied biasing to it here we have applied biasing biasing to it so we are going to analyze four cases here now look here the first case so n type in unbiased case it's normal energy level like ye conduction energy level ka minimum hai like iske upar there will be like bahut sare aise aur valency band ke ye bhi niche aise karke hoga but now we are considering only simple case so let's uh, neglect all other energy levels so in normal n type semiconductor we are only considering this three energy level and will do study about their shifting okay simultaneously other energy level will be will be shifted like this okay now this is the fermi energy level in case of n type so that will be nearer to the conduction band obviously as this is this is a n type semiconductor now look here how, if if we apply if we apply positive polarity to this side positive polarity to this side negative polarity to this side it doesn't matter which side it is so the if you, so the energy level once we do the biasing so the energy level will shift like this please be careful with this diagram okay we're going to shift like this sir wo fermi energy level wo kaise rahega wo bhi unke sath shift karega like this you got the idea this is a case of n type semiconductor when this gate biased 
okay now look for the p type semiconductor p type semiconductor you will have uh, e f p which will be nearer to the valency band this is your valency band this is your conduction band energy level now if you apply now if you apply the biasing to this simple it will going to shift in this way towards positive side सर ये तो बहुत सिंपल है हाँ ये एक्सट्रीमली सिंपल है बहुत ही सिंपल सा कॉन्सेप्ट है पर बच्चे इसमें काफ़ी कन्फ्यूज होते हैं सो प्लीज़ रिमेंबर इन दिस वे दिस इज़ एक्सट्रीमली सिंपल कॉन्सेप्ट द शिफ्टिंग ऑफ एनर्जी लेवल सो ओनली रिमेंबर दिस पॉइंट कि द एनर्जी लेवल डू शिफ्ट टुवर्ड्स पॉजिटिव पोलैरिटी नाउ लुक योर केयरफुली देर इज़ अ डिफरेंट केस there is a different case if your uh, uh, it doesn't matter which type semiconductor we are considering here n type okay we are considering let's consider only n type okay if this semiconductor if your semiconductor is non uniformly doped if your semiconductor is non uniformly doped what will happen what will happen the shifting phenomena nothing will happen the shifting will be done in the same way the way uh, the uniformly doped n type semiconductor mein jis tarike se shifting hua tha us tarike se hi ye shift hoga but only problem is there if you have non uniformly doped n type semiconductor sir uh, fermi energy level kaise hoga only 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 there is there will be a difference between the fermi energy level uh, diagram look here the fermi energy level was used to represent here in case of uniformly doped but in case of non uniformly low doped this is your n type okay this is your n type this is your n type ha huh? so this is your ec this is your ev so your non uniformly doped ke case mein your fermi energy level do represented like this because as it is non uniformly doped as it is non uniformly doped so your diagram does look like this even if it is unbiased case because this fermi energy indication uh, indicate it indicates ki this n type semiconductor is non uniformly doped it is not uniformly doped now if you apply biasing to it that 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 go, that going to be interesting koi kuch interesting nahi hai bahut simple hai wahi hoga kuch nahi hoga wahi aapke energy level will be tilted like this look here carefully if you apply biasing to it your energy level will tilted and aur ye sab log to iske andar hai na they are going to they are going to tilted simultaneously simple this is very simple concept if you have any kind of confusion you can ask me on the comment box i'll answer to you now this is your simple case okay now look here in case of now we are going to solve a simple question here this is one example this is another example in question it is asking nx versus x ka diagram hai sir nx matlab concentration uh, concentration hai na concentration of carriers ha we are taking here n type case okay n type case okay so n type non uniformly doped n type both the cases okay so in both the cases we are using non uniformly doped n type case so why it is saying non uniformly doped because the concentration of doping is changing according to the length so the uh, dn by dx is not equals to 0 so your nx is not constant your nx is not constant your nx is varying your nx is varying your concentration is varying your concentration is varying these are the two cases okay here is also your concentration uh, is varying here is also concentration is varying along the length inside this n type of semiconductor so in this question let's let's understand this only one this question so your applied e applied is 0 that means what uh, unbiased case now so unbiased case now this can be represented in terms of the diagram like this ki along the length the doping concentration decreasing here is this point mein at this point the doping concentration was maximum the doping concentration was maximum here this point mein maximum here now in this point mein in this point the doping concentration is minimum now the doping concentration is minimum you can you can do calculate like this okay your doping concentration is minimum 
like this this is how we are going to uh, analyze this doping concentration is so if you do this dn by n2 minus n1 or n2 minus n1 by x2 minus x1 in that way so it's very simple thing your concentration is decreasing here is the maximum value here is the maximum value the concentration is decreasing so concentration is decreasing this is this is your diagram for the subsequent n type semiconductor in the similar way your concentration is increasing 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 so it is concentration is increasing it is simple case okay this is also your unbiased case it's a very simple way okay now look here carefully now how we are going to represent the energy level diagram for this case now look here this area we're going to have we are going to have very much amount of positive ions look here there is nucleus influenced influence is here more so i can uh, the built-in electric field will be generated in this way like yahan pe positive nucleus ka प्रकोप ज़्यादा है इन्फ्लुएंस ज़्यादा है सो दैट विल बी रिगार्डेड एज पॉजिटिव एंड एज हेयर इज लेस प्रकोप देन इट विल बी लेस पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव एज कम्पेयर टू दिस एरिया सिमिलरली दिस विल बी पॉजिटिव एंड दिस विल बी नेगेटिव तो अभी इसको हम पोटेंशियल बैरियर के हिसाब से पोटेंशियल बैरियर विल बी द रॉन्ग वर्ड इन साइड या द बिल्ट इन इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड विल बी डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन दिस वे सो उसको नज़र में रखते हुए लेट्स डू द energy level diagram sir energy level diagram of this kind should has to be like aise hona chahiye na uh, ec and ev aise karke hona chahiye par as we are uh, generating here positive potential to energy level does shift towards positive potential to fir matlab hum log agar is cheez ko aise dekhe yahan pe hamara positive ka influence zyada hai sorry यहाँ पे आपका पॉजिटिव का इन्फ्लुएंस ज़्यादा है यहाँ पे आपका नेगेटिव का इन्फ्लुएंस ज़्यादा है सो so, हमारे एनर्जी लेवल विल शिफ्ट टुवर्ड्स पॉजिटिव एब्सोल्यूटली करेक्ट ट्यूबलाइट एब्सोल्यूटली करेक्ट ना इन द सिमिलर वे सर यहाँ पे हम इसको uh, ऐसे देख सकते हैं इट विल बी लाइक पॉजिटिव का इन्फ्लुएंस ज़्यादा है दिस एरिया में और यहाँ पर नेगेटिव का इन्फ्लुएंस ज़्यादा है सो दिस 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 इज नॉट externally applied this is not a biased case this is how we got from the distribution of charge carrier inside this n type okay so how will be what will be the diagram in this case sir towards positive towards positive sir absolutely correct you like so you got the idea this is a very simple concept okay so please uh, as it is a non uniformly doped to fir kaise hoga non uniformly doped ke case mein सर ऐसे होगा क्या ओके hmm. okay. uh, ये भी नॉन यूनिफॉर्म डोबड है सर इसमें भी आपका ऐसे होगा गॉड द आइडिया नाउ विथ दिस वी आर डन विद द एनर्जी लेवल शिफ्टिंग डू रिवाइज दिस दर इज नथिंग बिग लाइक रॉकेट साइंस इन दिस कॉन्सेप्ट डू रिवाइज दिस लेक्चर वंस मोर इफ यू कुड एंड अंडरस्टैंड सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर इन अ फेरमी एनर्जी लेवल शिफ्टिंग इन केस ऑफ पी एन जंक्शन उसमें कैसे होगा दैट वी वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस इन आवर नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वीडियो थैंक यू सो मच सी इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर बाय